Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Tank Davis knocks out Rolando Romero in the sixth round of their lightweight fight. Now going into this fight, it's the sort of result I expected. I expected Tank Davis to knock out Romero. Uh, in and around this period of a fight. And that's exactly what happened. But before the knockout, it didn't play out the way I expected. It wasn't the sort of fight in which I expected. Um, I have to say, for me, uh, Javonta Davis in this fight didn't look good at all. And, you know, it has to be said because look at the standard of opponents in which he was fighting. I'm sure some of you guys have seen Rolando Romero fight before. The guy is, what, 26 years old now, started boxing at 17, very little amateur pedigree, and you can tell that in his skill set, his style, his posture, and how he just navigates the ring. You can tell that he's basically an amateur with a, with a very limited skill set. Um, and bear in mind, he had 14 fights as a pro going into this bout. And for me, you know, for, for, the, amount of, for, for the amount of hype that Tank Davis gets... He should not be looking this bad against this sort of opponent. I know, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, he knocked him out in the sixth round. What do you want? I mean, look who he was fighting. Look who he was fighting. I mean, early on in this fight, uh, it, it panned out that both guys were trying to utilize their lead hand. Uh, Tank Davis being the southpaw, Rolando Romero being the orthodox fighter. And, you know, uh, it, it looked like both guys were trying to counter each other. Really low output affair. But for me in round one, I felt Rolando Romero was more active with his lead hand. He actually landed also a pretty good right, uh, sort of a right hand counter at the end of a round, like a pull counter type shot. And, you know, Rolando Romero... Uh, Basically, was in. I felt he controlled the first round, and after the first round until the knockout, I felt there was a few rounds where Riley Romero controlled it just based on lead hand control and a bit more output. Um, you know, uh, he was uh, also trying to lead with his left hook, which at times he caught Tank with. Uh, he caught Tank with a couple of like right hand counters here and there, and just in terms of the lead hand again, I felt his lead hand was more active. Van Tank Davis's in a few rounds. Um, Tank would actually uh, counter Rolando coming in with his with his uh, straight left hand at times. He was finding the straight left to the body on occasion. But for me, going into the sixth round, I felt Rolando Romero was definitely up. I would say I, I would say he was winning going into the sixth round. Um, and yeah, it was the sixth round where this fight ended. Roly Romero tried to finish the round strongly. Uh, the, the knockout occurred right at the end of the sixth round. Rolando Romero basically catches Tank with like a looping overhand right. Then he tries to close the distance and go downstairs with the right hand, completely leaving himself open and square on for the left hand. So he throws the overhand right to the head. That backs Tank up to the ropes. And then Roly Romero tries to close the distance by throwing a right hook to the body and then a wide left hook to the head. I mean, just completely, you know, threw, threw defense out of a window, squared himself up, no defense whatsoever, and walked into a, walked into a free shot from Tank Davis. And yeah, um, Rolando Romero went down. Uh, he beat the count. But according to the referee, uh, Roly Romero wasn't responding well to instructions. Uh, he was definitely on unsteady legs, but yeah, the referee waved it off. And that was all she wrote. Uh, Tank Davis won the fight by a sixth round KO. Uh, I have to be honest, I, I was not impressed with the skill level shown in this fight. Um, we all know that from Rolando Romero's perspective. Again, I, I said it going into this fight, the guy is extremely limited, extremely raw. He's a big, strong dude. That's pretty much it. You know, got a bit of speed, got a bit of power, but he's very limited. But for me, I mean, I think it's time to it's time to acknowledge that Tank Davis, uh, since that breakout performance against Jose Pedraza back in 2017, he's not got any better. He's not got any better. In fact, I think he's got worse. I think he's got worse, man. Um, I really do believe he's got worse. Um, I mean, his last fight against Isaac Cruz, another rank outsider, by the way. Now, in in hindsight, yeah, cool. 
Isaac Cruz is a much better fighter than people gave him credit for going into that fight. But there was many people out there who felt who, who felt Tank Davis lost that fight. And now fast forwards to this Rolando Romero fight. Once again, Tank is showing vulnerabilities against guys who are not elite level lightweights. So they're not top five lightweights. I mean, based on that performance, based on the Isaac Cruz performance, who does Tank Davis beat at lightweight? Does he beat any of the elite guys? You tell me. You tell me. I mean, based on his recent performances, I, I certainly wouldn't be uh, comfortable in picking Tank against most of these top lightweights, you know? I, I think stylistically the best chance he's got is against Cambosos. I think he's actually got a pretty good chance in that fight. But guys like Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, the other young guys, I'd probably pick those guys to beat uh, Tank Davis. And I would pick Lomachenko to beat Tank Davis. Um... I don't think the guy's getting any better. I think he's getting worse. He really needs to switch something up. Whatever he's doing, in my opinion, isn't really working. I know he's winning fights, I get it, but against who? And how's he looking in doing so? How's he looking in doing in winning these fights? I think he's looking pretty poor. But there we go. I mean, what can I say? Uh it was a pretty shit fight. Uh I felt the skill level in this bout was was that was a pretty pretty substandard, honestly. Uh, both guys looked very tentative and, and a bit scared of each other's power. Just not a great fight. It, it didn't look like an elite level fight to me. It didn't, you know. Um, I see people putting Tank Davis in their pound for pound lists. I mean, if that is pound for pound, then, you know, boxing really has fallen, hasn't it? But yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't impressed with this fight in general, in terms of entertainment, in terms of technique, in terms of everything, you know wasn't impressed whatsoever and the undercard was absolutely awful i mean somehow spike o'sullivan got a fight with erizalandi lara i mean really really poor card in general as far as i'm concerned anyway uh enough of that man i it's just it's uneventful to me it is what it is share your thoughts below being you guy del boy peace